We know it must be annoying for us to keep pointing out something that you cannot translate with your physical senses. And what we want you to do is to try to be satisfied with the knowledge that if I can feel it, that then I will soon see it. You've just got to find some way of soothing yourself that since I can feel it, therefore it must be. And if you can accomplish that, the receptive mode just means you're receiving something. So you could be in the receptive mode of what your vortex is offering up or what vulnerability offers. In other words, you're always in the receptive mode. So if you just start there by acknowledging that whatever is occurring to you, whatever thoughts are coming to you, whatever manifestations are happening, they are happening in direct relationship with whatever receptive mode you're in. An easier way of hearing it is whatever mood you're in. So that's elementary, isn't it? In other words, you understand that. You all do, don't you? You understand that. So now let's add another factor to that. And let's call that factor momentum. And let's talk about why momentum happens. Momentum happens because you give your attention to something. You give your attention to something and then something manifests and then you give your attention to something and something manifests and you give your attention to something and something manifests you have it so good because you're out here on the manifesting edge you're out here on the edge where whatever you've got going on is showing itself to you moment by moment by moment by moment by moment you have no excuse to be oblivious about what your vibrational countenance is because the things that are manifesting around you are evidence of what it is if you are aware of the way you feel and you sort of kind of like that feeling so you focus there it will become more and more and more and more and more you could take any thought of minor importance and you could focus on it and bring it to a place of momentous importance and it would manifest in this day every single one of you could do that with anything that is important to you this is the power of the universe that you've got working with you this is the power of the focus of source energy that you've got working with you you have tools at your fingertips you have the energy that creates worlds flowing through you you see you can be or do or have anything but you've got to break it down in some way that you know that you are doing it so we would suggest that you pick something that you pick something that is of some importance to you and you decide that you're going to focus on it until you can show yourself in one day you can show yourself how the momentum gathers around that subject in one day from the point of just being able to talk about it to the point of feeling fairly good feeling emotion about it to the point of really feeling excitement about it to the point of it manifesting in one day you can do that you can do that and you do it all the time that's what's so funny about this conversation you do those things all the time you just don't know that you're doing them and so you don't give yourself the credit of focus that you deserve to give yourself the credit of focus spend more time in the vortex what do you think's in there anyway it's really funny here's this vortex all ripe and ready and really eager well we are the eager ones to show it to you and you're over there saying, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. And we say, that's why. That's why you got to look where it is and feel like it feels. So pick any subject. Look where you think it might be. If you feel that something is lost where you stand and you believe us at all that there is a vibrational version of you, then look in the direction of this vibrational you and describe it to us. If you feel lost, what does found feel like? If you feel confused, what does clarity feel like? If you feel poor, what does richer feel like? In other words, you got to look where you think you are. So look there and describe that for just a moment and stop the other. I've been doing this. I've been doing this. How do I get the money out of the vortex and into the bank? When does it come to me? But you see, you can't talk about why the drought is unpleasant and attract the rain you can't talk about what's missing and allow what's missing to be fulfilled you've got to find a way to look at until you allow yourself you see you don't have to build the momentum in the vortex the momentum is already built you ask and the momentum is already gathered and it's huge and ready for you to receive it is it too big for you to receive it no not at all could you get ready to receive it yes are you ready right now no could you get ready yes are you ready now no could you get ready are you ready no do you want to get ready yes you want to get ready so 
do you believe that there is a vibrational version of things that you want yes and do you think that you could find any words for them or is it just a big murky mess of a mist of little pieces of things that you've thrown into it <laughs> or do you think there's anything in that that you could define and see it isn't easy to go there because you don't have the momentum but we promise you the momentum will come fast you see it's easy to tell the other story because that momentum's there it's easy to say all of those things but it's not how it needs to be what's in your vortex that you would like to define we just want you to find some simple thing that's over there like a state of clarity or any old thing what's there that you want what's there that's missing what's found that you feel lost from what's over there that isn't over here what's over there that you want what's over there what's out there what's up there what is it that you want what do you want that you don't have pick something that you feel close to so when you say I want cars or I want everything and you say how just change that one question to why because the why will hold you in the momentum of your desire longer the how almost every time will take you out of it whenever you ask yourself for an answer that you don't have you lose your connection but when you ask a question that leads you further in the momentum of your desire it allows the momentum of the desire to go further did you hear that hi i'm so excited to be up here oh my gosh so much happened this year it was one year of trying to pick up momentum turning it around and just this year everything happened so it was one year of being more in alignment with who I really am so that the momentum which always comes took me more in the direction of what I wanted to be rather than in the direction of what I don't want to be yeah. and the reason that it was such a fantastic year is because I was aware of what I was doing so as the momentum ensued and things were unfolding I could feel my hands in the clayness of it oh yeah 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 totally yeah I don't even want to talk about the year before that yeah <laughs> but it brought me to here yeah and it filled your vortex full of wonderful things so many things yeah yeah i wrote a book in like four weekends i just wrote it yeah submitted to a publisher yeah went to hawaii twice yeah met wayne dyer now i'm here yeah i won the lottery yeah i won the lottery <laughs> Three tell times. them it was a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> it was really close it was close i was one digit away from 90 million dollars like one digit i said that for like three days one one digit but then i was so excited right because <laughs> there was still some money there and so my question and i kind of know the answer but i'd like to hear it from you because i'm, I'm that guy in the back row probably knows right there <laughs> <laughs> we are not making fun of you we are appreciating every single thing you said and we liked the thoughtfulness with which you said it yeah And I took a lot of naps before I won the lottery. I was napping frequently. Yeah. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> so, okay, so my question. So I have this impulse to go and get my real estate license. And I have time to do it. I have allowance to do it with. To go when the idea occurred to you can you recapture that thought not so much what the thought was but the feeling of the thought when it came yeah it was like was it a burst of enthusiasm did it feel like a really good idea yeah 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 and it, I those thought, are the ones you want to follow okay i just feel like that follow them okay yeah and now you're seeing it so of course yeah. <laughs> well it, and it really it really like i can't see the whole picture of course not and what i've learned is you don't need to but that's why that burst of enthusiasm is all the picture you need for right now that's the thing you all say well yeah I'll do it if you'll show me what's next and next and next and next and next and then by needing to see something that you can't see now you're doing exactly the same thing to these thoughts turning to things that you were doing by facing the reality that doesn't hold what you want just take the impulse and follow it and trust that there's gonna be another and another and another there always will be but when you second guess it when you get your head too much into it when you talk yourself out of it you disallow allow the momentum from getting going then yeah. that's why the nap helped her win the lottery <laughs> <laughs> and don't you think it's interesting the sequence of events that take place here today 
we're not kidding you when we say your inner being knows what you want and knows where it is and knows the path of least resistance that will help you to understand it sometimes when you're asking it outright you're not in the place but as you're listening into other things then you get it you see yeah yeah so I want to go get my real estate license and I also would like to win the jackpot and so do I just but feel the difference between the impulse to get the real estate license and the idea of winning the jackpot yeah feel the difference between the idea of winning the jackpot and the impulse to go buy a ticket yeah can you feel the difference we want you to focus on the impulse because you think yourself out of impulses we're just gonna say it to you this way and you take it the way we mean it because it's gonna sound a little like we're beating up on you but we're really not only just a little bit <laughs> so the impulse comes to you in a flash and you know why it's usually a flash because you're usually so negative it can only squeak in on occasion <laughs> so the flash comes and you go oh wow and then you kill it immediately <laughs> by facing reality and so the reason that those impulses come in flashes and the reason that you feel insecure about following them is because you haven't accomplished the mastery of staying in the receptive mode but with not much more than you have accomplished as a result of just listening into today you can get into that receptive mode and you can master it so much so that you know when you're in it and you know when you're not in it and then you will know which impulses are the ones that are going to pay off to something that you want and which impulses are going to pay off to something that you don't want which is the impulse that buys the winning ticket and you're going to only by experiencing it know which is which yeah. yes by the way it feels that felt like this and it turned out like this that felt like yearning and it turned out like this that felt like enthusiasm and it turned out like this yeah. that felt just a whimsical thing and it turned out like this that felt like drama and the rest of my life was depending on it and it turned out like this <laughs> in other words what's the receptive mode that you are in yeah 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 and right after I won the lottery I was like I can do anything so I really tried to win the lottery after that and that did not feel <laughs> Like I didn't feel on track now this is the most important conversation that we've ever had with anybody about anything in regards to deliberate creating so you had an experience and let's isolate it let's talk about how that experience happened that was an impulse from alignment that led to that but then the next ones were not impulses that came from alignment they were conjuring and thinking and working and efforting and planning and plotting and defending and justifying and yeah and then the lottery okay. are you getting this yeah. yeah and it went up to like 1.5 billion and I kept thinking why is nobody winning and I like went into this place but then before that I was playing like I was playing with oh look my favorite numbers there your words are the most important words that have ever been spoken in a seminar <laughs> They're your words. I was playful. <laughs> I felt playful. Yeah. I felt playful and therefore I was in the receiving mode. And in my playfulness, I just followed it, even though it wasn't even rational, maybe. Yeah. So these are the things that we want you to consider that have been received by you just now, today. You now know that your inner being is aware of where you are in relationship to what you want. You know that right now? you know that and so if your inner being knows where you are in relationship to what you want isn't it logical that you would want your inner being to tell you now what you know about your inner being what does that mean what frame of mind do you have to be in are you on your knees praying from need is that the receptive mode or are you in appreciation are you in applauding are you in sincere appreciation of positive aspects of something are you light or are you heavy are you easy or are you tense are you worried or are you feeling free are you struggling or are you happy this is what we're talking about get into that happy place and do whatever it takes to get there and then watch what happens and then notice the correlation between I felt like this and that happened and I felt like that and that happened because words don't teach it's only life experience that teaches yeah. really good Aren't you? Really good. Thank you.